Hello everyone, this is Monster and welcome to Mon Mon. Um, today, I don't have a class. Yes, I have a vacant class for 9.30am to 11.30. And so, I am just having some casual place today. So, I'm gonna feed my pets. Oh, 100. I'm currently uh, boosting affinity for other pets that I don't give too much attention. So I'm going to hibernate this and then get someone with a low affinity because everybody's hungry. I guess Goopy or Krabby. You can go for Goopy. Feed. Oh, his stuff. <laughs> Head off his hand. And then I'm just going to cook some buffs. I usually cook this in buff. I just don't play that much compared when it's in summer vacation. So I usually have to go roaming around like this and then cook buffs, then go for the consignment board if my items have been sold. Because as you can see, you don't have much speed. No? <clears throat> and I have a cough and cold. It's not COVID though. Let's go here. I wonder if my books are bought. I'm actually trying to sell a barehanded book. Barehand skill book, but I sold it for 2 million. I don't know. It's been two months. No one has ever bought it. I don't know if I am pricing them right. Yeah, Book of Unarmed. Eh, eh. So there. I guess I just have to farm. This build actually one hits Bubble Angel pretty well. I just thought that I might have some mistakes because I've put strength in there. So I thought it affects crit damage. Oh wait, my my cat. Okay, so I guess I have to go to Bubble Angel Shrine of Blessing Scots. Where is it? Oh, there. Everybody's pretty busy this week because. Christmas vacation is closed and yeah, there are exams upcoming. But here I am. <laughs> I wanted to I know to find some some time to rest and just to unwind. Because I find it suffocating when I put myself too much on tasks at school. Huh. 
I wonder if it's good here. I don't even have food buffs. But let's see. I guess with this, we could... One hit them. I don't know. Oh, there you go. I don't have to go and get some food buffs. Alright, so I guess I just have to get more teammates. Oh, I'm international. Let's get some teammates. I guess this one could work. LFP, BB, one hit. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. But it's a good way, you know, so that they would invite me, I guess. And then Brave Aura is a good substitute as a timer. So every five minutes, I guess, I could go to the guild bar itself. Getting kind of laggy. By the way, excuse my English. I'm not a native speaker, <laughs> but I think I'm pretty good. You know. No, no, no. Where's Kakashi? Oh, okay. Uh, later. I forgot to mute my Facebook notifications. By the way, this build is pretty easy to have. Just need the ninja book. And I got mine for free from the Hanami event. Mm -hmm. Yes, I got both for my ninja lock and then also for my main character. Yes. And then also I might try to learn Blizzard and Storm. For killing easy mobs and then I will use this for bulky mobs no. I might also try some taming skills but I wanted to save it for another build that I am working on it's a staff sub arrow build this I'll call, I guess, Shepherd Mage, and then it will use Staff, so it will have the bonuses for the pet MP heal and the pet.
pet heal. Yes. And then I don't know, I just feel like Staff Sub Arrow is not that much explored. Much like my magic device build. So I have I will send the link up in my in this video about my wizard build Windborn. Where I used Imperial Ray and Advanced Familia and as well as Stone Barrier and the uh, three wizard skills. So yeah. I just think that those skills are very useful. Especially that with my main I just spam magic arrow, so I guess it's pretty good. Oh, my bag is full. But I'm still confused with the bag system. If I remember collect correctly, if the bag is red, it doesn't mean that it's actually the mats. Because we have this division now. Yeah, so collectibles is 50 plus, I believe. And then the red is... I guess my equipment that is now full. <laughs> I guess when my brave aura is off, I should go and go to the guild bar. I don't know. Or maybe I should wait for 10 minutes. Oh, I guess 15 minutes is cool. What's just not that good about Aqua Vortex is when you have an enemy with a high evasion rate, mm, sometimes the critical is not good, so it's best that we go for pure magic. So yeah, I might try to learn Blizzard and Storm combos for this. And as well as burst, so it will be focused really on farming and AoE. And I might as well ditch finale because, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, but I've used finale for a year, and it's really my main DPS when I used staff sub shield. I don't think it's that good, but it's really powerful, I should say. It's just that, you know, even with the high motion, oh, I am script. You can't move for 2.5 seconds, if I believe. That is with GSW, okay. And then, at default, it has 3 seconds <laughs> cast time. So, it's really not good when you are trying to have a DPS glass build. But I guess for bulky mages, I guess it's okay. Because I have a staff, staff sub shield that is an infinite mage. Which is most of the time called as a newbie mage. Oh, aura. Which is good. If I should say so myself. However, a yeah, I rarely see infinite mages nowadays. Just to be honest, of course there are. In strength and in dex builds are much more practical and they are more heavy damage wise.
I hope you don't get bored. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh no. I guess sometimes my attacks are not enough. Wait, I'll just check my bro. Hey! Why? Hmm. <laughs> Alright. It's okay, I guess. It's 9.59. So I might prepare for school. <laughs> So, my next class is 11.30 to 12.30 a.m. Oh, no. 11.30 to 12.30 p.m. p.m. <sighs> Damascus. Mm -hmm. Did I do something wrong? Why did they kick me? By the way, excuse my voice, I have cold and cough these past few days. <clears throat> Yay, complete. So how much? What? Did I miss? I wonder how, how much that cost. Mm. So earlier, oh nice, almost 50k, I guess. By the way, this magic device is cool if you use it. And it's really pretty, pretty easy to obtain because I farm bubble bogey. Look at the stats. It could be great for tanks, I guess. Magic device tank. You know. <laughs> Why don't you try it? And also, there are other magic devices that is great for tanks. Like the the one from Venena. Venena 2. And then, the other is... Hmm, from the mushroom... Yeah, Super Death Mushroom, SDM, if I remember correctly. It's the Super Costero, which has one of the highest base weapon attacks for magic device, and it also has some aggro. And what's cool is that it is Dark Element, so if you use Magic Javelin, it has a 100% chance to... Uh, inflict fear on the enemy if it's level 10 of course and also if the enemy is not resistant to fear yeah because in gas pants fear is not that much good I guess dizzy is better and then freeze but uh, yeah yes that is all and yeah. Advanced Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey. And add some awkward. This is actually my first time to speak like this. Yeah. Okay, bye and see you on another video.